This message is an alarm clock for the sleepers, a reality check for the dreamers. It is an admonishment for the willfully ignorant. It is a warning to the enemies. Finally, we can save the pleasantries. Their true colors have shown themselves again and again. So why do we always treat the canvas as if it is blank? The brush of these terrorists and their masters has wielded too much blood to paint. A picture of Islam that shows the world nothing but destruction, death, and hate. Calling them Muslims is a disgrace. Calling them human is a mistake. Calling them devils undercompensates. Calling them allies. Well, I guess our governments will compromise. Even though they might appear to be against terrorism at first glance, read between the lines to know their true stance. How can you be allies with a country that runs an apartheid state, who doesn't let medicine, food, or humanitarian aid through its gates? How can you put a country that beheaded hundreds on a human rights council? I guess it's easy when you use your government agents and Colin Powell to lie about weapons that let you go to war with Iraq, where over one million dead bodies are stacked. When you fire phosphorus and depleted uranium. When you fund the very terror groups that bombed France outside their stadium. And speaking of France, they sold billions of dollars in weapons to the Saudis only days after the attacks. So you tell me who is the enemy and who is the friend? Who is sincere and who's playing pretend? Why is Israel the only country ISIS has left unscathed? Why were their fighters allowed through their barricades? To be treated in Israeli hospitals as Netanyahu by their bedside stayed. Why when Gaza was burned to the ground, not a stone was thrown Tel Aviv's way. But when a Saudi embassy was burned in Iran, every Arab country had something to say. But we know the drill. We are the Shia of Ali. We know what it's like to prefer the truth over money. We know that the flavor of death in the way of justice is sweeter than honey. And Sheikh Nimr's lips savored this taste. Instead of feeling fear or pain, as the sword cut his neck like his master Hussein, he was victorious. And no Zionist, Anglo-American, Saudi criminals can change the status of our leaders to anything but glorious. No matter how many pulpits you curse us on, whether it was the Masajid of Sham with Muawiyah, or on CNN, whether with Abu Sufyan, or the Wahhabi-occupied mountains of Hajj, we preach with intellect and eloquence. They preach with bullets and malevolence. We speak with truth and sincerity. They thrive on false propaganda and global terror threats, even though they have manufactured them. But let them know that truth will prevail and falsehood will perish, that the righteous will be victorious and criminals will vanish. O Muslims of Muhammad, do not let another soul accuse you. Do not apologize for your faith. You are on the path of truth, no matter what they say. We are not arrogant and we are not unjust. We discuss, have dialogue, read, share ideas, laugh, smile, and love. But only with the true and honest ones. But those who play games, who claim to free the world they currently enslave, I ask them to remember our names. We are Sheikh Nimr of Hijaz. We are Sheikh Zekseki of Nigeria. We are Sheikh Muhammad Bouti of Syria. We are Muhammad Baqir al-Sadr of Iraq. We are Musa al-Sadr of Lebanon. We are Mutahari of Iran. We are the Muslims of Muhammad. We are the lions of Ali. We are the progeny of Fatima. We are the redeemers of Hassan. We are the companions of Hussein. But this time, the result won't be the same. For what happened to him won't be repeated. O people of the world, know you have been cheated. The politicians with suits and ties are the ones responsible for the terrorists claiming our demise. The Saudis and the Gulf fund them with American-Israeli training. They are let in through Turkey, Jordan and others and the rest is taken care of through intelligence agents. ISIS is manufactured like Al-Qaeda was before them. What will it take for you to connect the dots? So let's take it from the top. The Middle East falling under Western control is the only way they will ever stop. Unless we stand against them first. The way the Ahl al-Bayt stood up against Ibn Ziyad. And no unshakable are those who put their trust in God. So know that Israel and the house of Saad are like the home of an insect 
Weaker than the spider's web, web. But we are the unbreakable, unshakable, unstoppable. No matter how many of our scholars and warriors they behead. Our mother watched them do this to her brother Hussein as he fell dead. And she taught us to never fear you or anyone else through the words to Yazid she said. We only submit to the Lord who revealed his book on the soul of her grandfather Muhammad. And you will never intimidate the children of Sayyidah Zainab. Zainab.